Now see Samuels takes him to the bus. Three. Good yeah. by Wiggle Howe. And Mike Bailey takes the lead. And Fred Curry is about to go. Time to steal that time. Don't stop. Check it out, y'all. Trinity Curry. Rose, she takes it. Cut. Frazier, another drive and another dunk. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Check it out, y'all. Come on. Don't stop. 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 Shot up, good by Big yeah. Robinson, right at the big man. Over the yeah. big man, I think he yeah. even got a piece of that Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Belfry High School. This is Larry Cecil along with Wayne Fugit as the Belfry Pilots will host the Johnson Central Golden Eagles tonight. That's our number one and number five team in our IMSN top five. Speaking of the top five, we have Johnson Central this week. Number one, Pikeville, number two, Shelby Valley, number three. Number four is East Ridge. And as I said, the Belfry Pirates, number five. We'll go over some stats as Johnson Central comes into the Knights game 9-1 and one on the season. Central's averaging 73.3 points a game, giving up 60.7 points a game, shooting the basketball 49.2% from the field, three-point shooting at 39.5. They're 68 of 172. Free throw shooting 67%. They've made 122 out of 182 attempts. Their leading scorers tonight, uh, coming in tonight's game, Corey Van Hoos averaging 17.2 points a game. Isaiah May at 16.7. And John King at 11.4. Rebounding wise, Corey Van Hoos is averaging 4.9. Their leading Rebounder is John King at 6.3. On the other side of the coin, we have Belfry coming in at 4-5, and five, and they have lost eight games so far this season because of the uh, COVID. They're averaging 65.1 points a game, and the average giving up 64.5. Point, uh, field goal shooting 47.1% for the season from the field. Free, uh, or excuse me, uh, three-point shooting, 60, or 27 of 102 for 26.7 percent, and they have 193 free throw attempts, making 117, averaging 60.6 points a game or a percent from the free throw line. So both teams gets to the free throw uh, line a whole lot. Uh, as I said, Johnson Central 182 times and Belfry. 193 times. Both teams has played nine games. Me and Wayne was talking earlier, you know, not here it is uh, first week in February, and you only got nine games under the belt. Of course, like I said, Belfry's lost eight games because of the COVID, and Johnson Central has uh, had five games canceled. So we're about ready for the starting lineups. We'll get those as the PA announcer brings them to us. Pretty well could tell you who the starters will be, but had word that there might be a couple of changes in the Belfry lineup, so we'll wait and see what we've got. And now the PA announcer will give them. For Johnson Central, we talked to the radio announcer from down in Paintsville, got Corey Van Hoos, Isaiah May, John King, Grant Rice, and Ryan McKenzie. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. This year in the Mountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. 
I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. And welcome back as we're about ready for the starting lineups for tonight's game between Johnson Central and Belfry. Waiting for the PA announcer as we now he'll start giving line up. Of course, Johnson Central is coached by Coach Tommy McKenzie. He's been there 14 years, got five regional championships under his belt. Got number four, that's Isaiah May. Number 30 will be John King. Number 12, Corey Van Hoos. Number zero is Ryan McKenzie, and number 10 will be Grant Rice. And now we'll get the starting lineup for Belfry. We have number two, that's the Maj Clark. And also got Ben McNamee. Didn't get the number, I think that was that number 44 starting night, Zachary Savage. Also number zero, Sal Dean. Belfry is coached by Mark Thompson. He's in his eighth year here at the helm for the Belfry Pirates. Don't have a jump ball this year. It's a coin flip, so we'll see who will have the basketball to start. As they'll break the huddle, and it looks like Belfry will have the basketball to start the ball game. Number two, DeMar J. Clark steps out of bounds, and he'll get it in to Saldin. Looks like Johnson Central opening up in a man-to-man -man defense. Belfry not starting the big man. Here's a three, no good. And battle for the rebound, and Clark knocks it out of bounds, so he'll go to Johnson Central. They'll have their first offensive possession of the night. That's number 10, Grant Rice. He'll bring it into the front court. Looks like Belfry is opening up in a 2-3 zone. The two men out front playing out high on that zone. Johnson Central works it over in the corner, and here's a three. And it's no good by McKenzie, and we have a foul on the rebound. That foul's going to go against number 12, Ben McNamee. That's going to be his first. Central have the ball in play. Works it over in the corner. Mays, one, he's their number one three-point shooter, and he'll take one and knocks it down. And Isaiah May puts his team on the boards quickly. Three to nothing. Just getting started. 7.06 here in the first quarter, and... The big guy, Bo Cure, 7-3 from the Deca Tribe of Sedan comes into the ball game. Cure averaging 12 points a game and 11.6 rebounds. His Pirates will have it in the front court. There's Sal Dean working, gets it over to Clark. Trying to get a screen. Nothing doing there. Big man, free throw line jumper up. No good, that's savage. Rebound comes off Johnson Central. 
into the front court. May, another three. Count it. That was nothing but nylon. So Isaiah May, six, Belfry, nothing right now. We've got Clark right down the lane and going to be a blocking call on Johnson Central. That was number two, Clark, on the drive. Oh, excuse me, uh, number zero, Saldine. He'll go to the free throw line, two free throws. 6-21 here in the first quarter, just getting started. 6 nothing Johnson Central on two Isaiah May three-pointers as Dean misses the first free throw. He'll have one more. And he knocks the second one down. Belfry gets on the board, 6-1. That foul was on John King of Johnson Central. Central working in the front court quickly, and here's May with another three. That one's off. Belfry comes down with the rebound. That was Savage, and on the other end, shot no good. Johnson Central quickly into the front court. Van Hoos. And shot up and good. Ryan, Ryan Grant with the two-point bucket. Johnson Central out eight to one. Belfry working in the front court with it. Putting a lot of defense down low on Bo here, and they finally get it in to the big man, and he puts it in, but it's a foul on the floor. I think that was Grant Rice caught. No, let's see. Van Hoots. That's the second team foul now for Johnson Central. official steps in as the players trying to get in position. Coach Kier standing behind all of them with his arms up. He's, he's about two foot or three foot above all the rest of them. They try to go into the corner with it. Coming in to McNamee, but knocked out of bounds. And now they'll get it into Kier. Spin move in the lane, shot up, no good. Rebound comes off McKenzie. For Central, and uh, May open for a three, miss it. Made his first two, missed his last two. And here's the steal. Taking it in on the other end, putting it up and in is Ryan McKenzie. We're three minutes in. Belfry does not have a field goal yet. Johnson Central with the 10-1 lead. Savage trying to get it inside for Belfry. They've got Bo Cure covered up inside. Now they work it back over to Saldine. Here's a drive down the lane, block. McKenzie comes up with the rebound. On the other end, puts it up no good. And Cure couldn't get the rebound and knocked it loose. His teammate picks it up on the other end. Clark shot no good. McNamee a rebound, hits no good. And Van Hoos comes off. Shot up and good. Number 10 for Johnson Central. Grant Rice and Belfry's going to have to have a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. 12-1. Four twenty-two left here in the first quarter as Belfry is being cold from the field. Johnson Central come out and getting the rebounds, running the break. Isaiah May opened up the scoring with two straight three-pointers. He's missed his last two, but Grant Rice with two buckets and Ryan McKenzie with the buckets picked up the slack for Johnson Central. Pirates will have it. Bring this length of floor out of the timeout. It will be Clark bringing it up the floor for Belfry. 
Savage. Big man comes out on top, gets it. Goes down. Clark trying to drive the baseline. We keep looking inside, but Johnson Central's packing that 2-3 zone in. Here's Savage throws one up. A lot of contact, no call, and gets it to go for the first bucket for Belton. Central working on the other end. And they'll go. Here's May. He tries to go down inside. Ball tilt. Cure comes up with the rebound. Pirates out on the run and try to get it into Cure Tilt, but saved. And here again, they try to get into him in another steal. That was Grant Rice, and then he's going to be fouled. McNamee, that's his second foul. Three thirty-four, first quarter, 12-3. Johnson Central with the lead over the Pirates of Belfry. Grant Rice has it in the front court for the Golden Eagles. Here's May with a three, no good. Clark, one on four, knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Belfry Pirates as McKenzie blocks it out. Johnson Central had a substitute come in, number 24, and we've got a foul as they try to get it in to Bo Cure and going to be foul on Johnson Central. That's number 24, and we don't have a 24. Yeah, Toby Spriggs. And here's shot up and good for Belfry. That's Chaffin's, his first bucket of the night. He's their second leading scorer with 12.4 points a game. 12 to 5, just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter as Johnson Central works it in the front court. Looked at the three, put it on the floor, out to May. Just working around, and three-pointer open in the corner. Shot no good. McKenzie. And Fibert's on the break, and Clark misses it. Cure tried to get the rebound, but nice block at that time by May. In the front court, Central's working. Here's McKenzie. He'll try that same three-pointer again. This time, he'll knock it down, Ryan McKenzie. Down to Central out by 10 now, 15 to 5. We've got two minutes to go here in this first quarter as Central looks like they've got a chaser on Chaffins and shot in the corner, no good. Van Hoos comes off with the rebound. Now Central will set it up in the front court. 145 here in the first quarter. Central's not got nothing inside as far as the half court set, but they've had a couple of fast break buckets. Hits some three pointers. They've got three three pointers. Here's May with one. He gets knocked to the floor. It's no good. Belfry comes off with the rebound. That's Chaffins with it. Now they'll get it out, and the ball is dropped into the backcourt. And Clark finally uh, tips it, and it's an over and back. Trying to wait for Central maybe to tip the ball to pick it up, but never did tip it, and we've got multiple substitutions coming in for Johnson Central. That's May. He's still in the game. We've got number one in the game now. That's Sarton Sloan. Just working around two-man game right now. Here's May. Gets back out to Sloan. Approaching one minute left here in this first quarter. Baseline jumper Van Hoos. No good. Cure comes off the rebound. Van Hoos steals it. And he'll put up a three. No good. Central comes back off with the rebound. We've got a whistle and is going to have a timeout. Johnson Central, 47 seconds left. Let's see what the timeout's going to be. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, looks like. 
Coach Tommy McKenzie got a play he wants to work. Maybe uh, work it down to the last shot with only 47 seconds left. His team with the 10-point lead, 15 to 5. Central's had three three-pointers so far. Two by Isaiah May, one by Ryan McKenzie. On the other hand, Belfry with only three players scoring and one of those, Sal Dean, just one of two from the foul line. So Belfry off to a very slow start here in this game. Johnson Central will have it out of the timeout. It's going to be side out in the front court. Isaiah May will step out of bounds. Belfry comes out in the looks like the 2-3 zone. It'll go in the backcourt to that's Sergeant Sloan. And Belfry just got the floor spread right now. They're going to work close to be for the last shot. Sloan and May just passing the ball back and forth. Chasing picks up the defense on Sloan a little bit. May. Back over to that's Sarton Sloan. Got the double last name. Got 10 seconds now. They'll get into some offense. Isaiah May, they'll probably be the one to take the last shot, but here out of the corner is a shot no good. That's number 20, Caden Sloan. And at the end of the first quarter, 15 5, Johnson Central over Belfry. We'll send it back to the station. Be back for second quarter action this year in the Mountain Sports Network. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley-Davidson in Pikeville. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Welcome back to Belfry, ready for second quarter action. 15-5, Johnson Center with the 10 point lead after the first quarter. It looks like they'll have the basketball to start this second quarter. They worked it for the last shot in that first quarter, so it could have had a two for old chance to score, but wasn't able to score on the last shot. They've got some substitutions in. That's uh, Rice back into the game. And here on the baseline, we've got a offensive foul. That's a hook. That's a good call. That was John King, number 30, with the chicken wing, hooked his man, tried to get around him. And that's going to be his first foul. Four team fouls on Johnson Central. Belfry with two team fouls. Here's the big man Savage into the game for Belfry. He started the game. Here's a drive to the bucket. And nice block that time. John King gets it down on the other end. Shot put up and in. Ryan McKenzie. Johnson Central extends their lead now to 12. 17-5. Savage a handed off Chaffins. Chaffins their second leading scorer, not been able to score but one bucket so far. And boy, that's a nice crossover dribble, and instead of taking the shot, try to throw it down inside. I think that was McNamee he's trying to get it to. Sells it out of bounds. That was number 32, Stephen Banks, in for Belfry. That it was pass was intended to. Seven minutes to go here in the first half. 17-5, Johnson Central with the lead over the Belfry Pirates. Working in the front court with it and at the dangerous pass. 
Working around into the corner to come. Here's May. Central with four players outside the three-point arc, and then they got John King at the free throw line. And here May, he drives down and Cure tipped it, but it was goal 10. The big man got up. But you can't get the ball on the way down. So credit May for a field goal. That's his eighth point. And we've got a whistle. Looks like something on the floor down under the bucket. So they'll get that cleaned up. Toby Spriggs coming back into the game for Johnson Central. Spriggs, a 6'3", 195-pound senior. And he'll have the duty of guarding the big man, Bo Keir, for Belfry. Cure hasn't scored yet. And they'll get it into him, and he puts it down, puts it up, and what do they got? I think one official had to walk, one had a foul, and they're going to stick with the foul. And that foul's going to go on number 24, Toby Spriggs. And Pure's first free throw up, no good. He'll have one more. Clock rest was 6-10 to go here in the first half. 19-5, Belfry not being able to get the ball to go through the bucket as Kier now is 0 for 4 from the foul line. Here's a shot out of the corner. You can count it. And that is number 20, Caden Sloan into the game for Johnson Central. And here's on a fast break bucket, putting up and in is Grant Rice. And Belfry's going to have to have a timeout as Johnson Central has come out here and went on a 9-0 run, and we'll take a break. Be right back. This is Red Mountain Sports Network. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Gearheart Broadband knows the Internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I want to talk about a subject that's a little bit hard to talk about. Some of you out there may feel like you're at the lowest point in your life. Feels like it's never going to get better. You feel like the only option out there is to end your life. I promise that's not the only option and in fact that's not an option at all taking your life doesn't end the pain it gives the pain to other people keep your head up I promise things will eventually get better and welcome back to Belfry 544 to go here in the first half 24 5 as Johnson Central has came in to the Belfry Gymnasium and open up hot. They're on a 9-0 run to start this second quarter. Belfry has not scored. They'll have it bring its length of the floor as the big man Savage will bring it across the timeline. It looks like Johnson Central in a matchup zone. Here's Cure with it. Cross the lane. Shot up. No good. Might have got hit on the arm. Rebound comes off Johnson Central. In the front court. Yeah. Gets it over. That's number three, Josh Sloan, into the ball game. Johnson Central's already played nine players so far here in this first half. Belfry still, and here's May. They leave him open, and he misses. But offensive rebound, Johnson Central. May hit his first two, but he's missed his last four from three-point line. He's the leading scorer right now with eight points. Central working in the front court. 
May goes over to the right side now. All of his three-point shots is being off the left side. Again, Central, they spread the floor. Got four men outside now. Got all five players outside the three-point arc trying to spread Belfry out, open up for either a three-point shot or a drive. Grant Rice, he drives the middle, stops at eight footer in the lane up and no good. Chaffin's rebounds for Belfry. Chaffin's on the move, kicks it in the corner. Clark, runner, no good. May comes up with the rebound for Johnson Central. 410 here in the first half, uh, left in the first half. Belfry still has not tallied a point here in this second quarter so far. Johnson Central just, they'll pass the ball and, and look for a screen. McKenzie has some pressure on him. That was Saldine putting some good pressure on him. He gets rid of it. Now here's a three. No good by Caden Sloan. He had one in the first quarter, and Chaffin's on the other end. Called for the walk. Pass led him out in front of him a little bit, and time he controlled it. Might have been called for the charge anyway, so that might have saved him a foul because Johnson Central was back and had pretty good defensive pressure set up. And now Belfry goes into a 1-2, one, 1-1 one, one full court pressure. Johnson Central easily breaks that. May tried to drive, was no driving lane there, kicked it back out, Grant Rice. Sloan, now here's May, he puts it on the floor. 12 footer in the lane, no good. Belfry with another rebound. Sal Dean, he takes it down the lane, jump stop, no good. Killer fumbled the basketball, couldn't come up with it. But Josh Sloan did for Johnson Central and then he's fouled. And that foul's gonna go against Chaffins. It's gonna be his first team's third. 24-5, three minutes exactly left here in this first half. McKenzie have it for Johnson Central. Now they'll, he backs out close to the timeline and they'll set their offense up again. All five players outside the three-point arc. They got most of their players and here's a foul called. That's gonna go in Savage as Grant Rice tried to drive it and that's what Johnson Central is playing for. They're just spreading the floor. All five players they have on the floor is good ball handlers. They can shoot from outside or take it to the bucket, and that's their philosophy right now. It's working very well as they're up 24 to 5. Grant Rice looking to get it in, and number two, that's Bryson Hackney, and he throws it away. And then Saldine has it knocked loose from behind. Johnson Central comes up with it. Three, count it, Grant Rice. And Rice now with nine points, he takes over the scoring lead for Johnson Central as May has eight. 27-5, Johnson Central put, putting this one away pretty early here as Belfry finally gets a bucket. That's their first score here in the second quarter as Stephen Banks puts a shot in off the glass. And Nice defense that time by Sal Dean as he knocks the ball off the Johnson Central player. And it'll go to Belfry. Under two minutes to go here in the first half, 27-7. Johnson Central with the 20-point lead. Savage drives and try to kick it over to his teammate, but it's stolen. Hackney with it, all the way down the lane, scoop shot, no good. Rebound off to Stephen Banks of Belfry. On the other end, Saldine shot comes up short. And in the end, McKenzie rolls it in and foul. Excuse me, that was number 12, Van Hoos. 
That's Van Hoos first points of the night. He comes in as the leading scorer for Johnson Central at 17.2 points a game. So just shows you how well the Golden Eagles has been playing here in the first half. They've got 30 points on the game and their leading score has three. That foul is going to go against number 44. That's Zachary Savage for Belfry. 119 and now Central puts some 2-2-1 two, two, full court pressure on and here's Saldin takes it down the lane, puts it up and in. His first bucket of the night and that'll cut the lead 30 to nine. Hackney with it in the front court. Van Hoos and he sees an opening and that looked like a nice football move. He gave a good steal for him there to Saldin. Uh, no Call, so misses the shot. Chaffin's on the other end, and he's going to be fouled. Oh, they're going to call a charge on Chaffin's. Wow. Didn't see that. And that's going to be the second one on Chaffin's. 16 fouls. 40 seconds left here in this first half. Central have it. See if they work for the last shot. Man who's out front for the Golden Eagles. Grant Rice now. Belfry man to man. Out of that 2-3 zone, they've been in most of the first half. They know that Central's trying to work for the last shot. Here's Rice, gets the screen, crossover down the lane, up, no good, foul called. On the floor before the shot, but it will be 17 foul, so it will be the one and one. And that foul goes on number 32, Stephen Banks. That's his first. That's going to send Grant Rice to the line for the Golden Eagles with 8.8 .8 seconds left here in the first half, 30 to nine. Johnson Central with the big lead. And one one misses it, Rice. Belfry quickly in the front court. And inside, shot no good, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in, working hard on the offensive boards is Stephen Banks. And that's gonna be the end of the first half. It's 30 to 11. Johnson Central over Belfry. So we'll send it back to the station, be back shortly with some first half stats and comments. It's your Mountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. More than ever, we're all living online right now. 
It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to Belfry, where it's a half of tonight's game between Johnson Central and Belfry, 32-11. Johnson Central with the big lead. They put 15 up each quarter. Belfry had six the second quarter, only five the first quarter. We go from scoring first for Belfry. They were led in scoring by Stephen Banks off the bench with four points. Those coming in the second quarter. Let's see, we've got uh, two points for Zachary Savage. Uh, We've got uh, three points for Dean and two points for McNamee for a total of 11 points. Belfry was, oh, uh, oh, excuse me, one of four from the foul line. They did not hit a three-pointer in the first half. For Johnson Central, very balanced scoring for the Golden Eagles. Grant Rice with nine points. He has one three-pointers, eight points for Isaiah May. He had two three-pointers. His first two shots were three-pointers that he made, then missed his next four three-pointers, had a two-point bucket in the second quarter for his eight points. Seven points for Ryan McKenzie. McKenzie also with one three-pointer. A three-pointer for Caden Sloan, and he got three points for Corey Van Hoos, who came into the game averaging 17.2 points a game, the leading scorer in the game. Uh, for either team and he has three points that come on an and one in the second quarter Johnson Central one of one from the foul line that was the one foul shot that Van Hoo shot and they had four three pointers 30 to 11 Johnson Central with the big lead and what time we're waiting to get started here in the second half, we'll let everyone know that tonight's game is brought to you by Hired Fam Family Pharmacy, Mine Shaft Harley Davidson, Coalfields Telephone, Intermountain Cable, Appalachian Wireless, Gearheart Security, Big Sandy React, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Parkview Pharmacy, and Attorney John Earl Hunt. And we'll take a break. We'll be back for the start of the second half, and looks like Belfry will have the basketball when we return this year in the Mountain Sports Network. I want to talk about a subject that's a little bit hard to talk about. Some of you out there may feel like you're at the lowest point in your life. Feels like it's never going to get better. You feel like the only option out there is to end your life. I promise. That's not the only option, and in fact, that's not an option at all. Taking your life doesn't end the pain, it gives the pain to other people. Keep your head up, I promise things will eventually get better. 
Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I want to talk about a subject that's a little bit hard to talk about. Some of you out there may feel like you're at the lowest point in your life feels like it's never going to get better. You feel like the only option out there is to end your life. I promise that's not the only option and in fact that's not an option at all. Taking your life doesn't end the pain, it gives the pain to other people. Keep your head up, I promise things will eventually get better. 
Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a worker's compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to Belfry. About ready to start the second half. 32-11, Johnson Central with the big lead. Belfry will have the basketball to start the third quarter. Belfry came into the Knights game shooting 47% from the field for the season, but they shot a, we don't keep percentages, but they might have been 25% in the first half. Central's defense has been really tough on them so far. They'll have it to start the second half. There's Matt and me with it. Looks like Savage back out on the floor. Saldine, Mahajay Clark, and Chaffins. And Chaffins drives in the lane, has it taken away. And on the other end, hard foul. 
That foul's going to go against Chapins. That was Ryan McKenzie with the steal. Takes it end to end and comes up with the foul. And that's going to be Chapin's third foul. Chapin's come in tonight's game as the second leading scorer for Belfry at 12.4 points a game. And he's got two points so far. First free throw no good by McKenzie. Second one's up and good. And he add to his total now makes him eight points in the game tonight. Belfry working in front court, trying to get Chapin's open. They run him through the middle. Here's a three by Saldine, top the circle, no good. Two central players battling for it. And boy, beautiful save that time by McKenzie into the front court. And Van Hoos open to the bucket, puts it up and in. Wide open drive, Corey Van Hoos. So Johnson Central comes out, scores the first three points here in the third quarter, and their lead balloons to 22 now, 33 to 11. Savage working in the front court, using his body, shot no good. Van Hoos off with the rebound, and on the other end, Putting it up and in is Grant Rice, and Belfry quickly wants a timeout as Johnson Central has come out here on fire on a 5-0 run, and it's going to be a full timeout. So 35-11, Johnson Central. We'll be right back. This is Run Mountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home the ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Back to Belfry, 35 635 left here in the third quarter as Johnson Central comes out. Five quick points and coach Mark Thompson had to use the timeout to try to get his team settled down. And here is a drive and a charge called. That's going to go against Clark. Nice dish off, but after the pass, he charged. And that's Clark's third foul of the night. Belfry comes out in a 2-2-1 full court pressure, but Central works it into the front court with no problem. Pass around again. They spread the court wide open in the corner. Van Hoos and Corey Van Hoos coming out here in the second half. Hot as he had three points first half. He's already tallied five here in the third quarter. So that puts him up to eight for the ball game. Savage working for Belfry as he tries to muscle it up and in. No good. And out on the run, putting it up and in. Ryan McKenzie on the other end. Nine points now for McKenzie, and I'd like to let everyone know that at the end of tonight's game, we'll have the Intermountain Sports Network player of the game, and right now Johnson Central's got two or three candidates for it. And here's the ball knocked out of bounds. Belfry loses it, he'll go back over to Johnson Central. Big man Bo Cure comes into the game for the Pirates. Looks like number 32, Stephen Banks, will get a rest. 542, third quarter, 40 to 11. Johnson Central come in as the number one team in the region, and they're showing why here tonight at Belfry. And there's a foul. That's going to go against number 10. Caleb Spears into the game for Belfry. His first third team foul already for Belfry. We've got 529 left third quarter, so that pace stays, uh, keeps up. Johnson Central will be at the line quickly. Man who's working. May, he scored the first two buckets of the ball game from three point line. He's been quiet since then with only two points as McKenzie tried to take it inside, and they 
Cure knocks it out of bounds, but they call a foul on Sal Dean, his first four team fouls before the shot. Johnson Central will have it under their own bucket. And get it into Van Hoos. He temporarily loses. He picks up his dribble, now takes it out in front, and he'll give it over to Grant Rice. Johnson Central working around that three-point arc. They like to do that, get some screen set, and then either drive it to the bucket or take a three-point shot off a good screen. Now Van Hoos, he just backs it over into the corner out close to the timeline in front of the scores table and just holding the basketball. And Johnson Central is just taking time off the clock right now. 40 to 11, the big lead. Van Hoos in the middle. And nice break to the bucket, but loses the basketball, able to dig it back out. And Van Hoos with the three, no good. Kier comes off with the rebound. And a foul in the backcourt on Johnson Central. That's going to go against number four, Isaiah May, his first team's first. 421 here in the third quarter, 40 to 11. Belfry has not scored here in this third quarter. They opened the second quarter up with a four and a half minute drought before they score here inside the big man cure he puts it up and in nothing that john king could do with that he had him pinned down under the bucket and cure just puts it off the glass up and in for his first points of the night came in averaging 12 points a game 11.6 rebounds and central has taken him out of the game so far van who shoots over cure no good rebound comes off that's chaffins for belfry and down the lane, and beautiful steal or a block that time by McKenzie, and he puts it in on the other end, and McKenzie now with the 11 points tonight. McKenzie and Rice with 11 each, and on the drive, a foul called against Johnson Central. That was number 10, Caleb Spears on the drive. Foul's going to go against John King, his first, and Spears will be at the line for two free throws. Trying to score the first points for Belfry here in this third quarter. 3.20 on a resting clock. And he makes the first one. That's his first points of the night. He'll have one more. 42-14. Forty-two, fifteen, make it as he gets them both to drop. Belfry came in tonight's game averaging 65 points a game. They've got 15 on the board right now. Not being a very good offensive game for the Pirates here. Of course, that's a lot to do with the defense for Johnson Central. And here's a steal. Nice anticipation that time. And misses the shot on the other end. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up at the end. Sal Dean. And we have a timeout. 42 17, 259 left, third quarter of this year in the Mountain Sports Network. Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. We're back at Belfry. 42-17, Johnson Central with a big lead, 2.59 left third quarter. Central will have it bringing it the length of the floor as Belfry will come out in a 1-2-1-1 full court pressure, trying to create some turnovers to get back into this ball game. Johnson Central breaks it. Yeah. On the drive, now backs out. That's number 10, Grant Rice with it. Johnson Central just running their passing game out behind the three-point arc. Nobody inside of it. 
got King standing at the top of the circle. They've been in that pretty well the whole ball game. They'll look for a screen if they can't get nothing on the drive. It's a three-point shot, and here's May with the three-pointer. No good. Rebound tipped out front. Belfry comes up with it, and on the other end, putting it up and in is number 10, Caleb Spears. That's his fourth points. I'll come in here in this third quarter, and here's a steal. But not able to get it to a teammate. Run down in the backcourt by Ryan McKenzie. Under two minutes to go here to the third quarter, 42-19. Johnson Center with the big lead. And try to double team. We've got a whistle of what we have. We're going to call number four, Isaiah May, for a push. That's going to be his second team's third, Johnson Central, with five new players into the ball game. They've got the big lead, 42-19, 143 left here, third quarter. Belfry has got seven, four, eight points so far in this third quarter. That's the most points they've had. And under the, the bucket, Bo Cure with the dunk. The dunking Dinka. And on the other end, a three-pointer up and good by number 20, Kalen Sloan. And we've got a, well, I don't know what we had. We had a whistle. Oh, delay a game after they hit the bass, uh, ball out of the bucket. Okay. Belfry works in the front court. Saldine drives the baseline, no good. Here he is, Cure with the rebound as he goes up for the shot. He's fouled, so he'll go to the line. And that foul is going to go against number two on Johnson Central. That's Bryson Hackney, his first. Cure at the free throw line. Only shooting 40% from the line for the season and misses the first one. He's 0 of 5. And with his height and inside game that he's got, that's, a, that's really as a basketball comes out on the floor out of the stand. So had to stop action to get that one, but Cure really hurts his his team and himself not being able to knock those free throws down because this is six free throws that he's had so far. And Belfry with only eight, he's had six of them, misses them both. But Belfry was able to dig out the rebound. Here's Clark and his shot's blocked. Bryson Hackney with the block into the front court. He'll come with it, gives it over to a teammate now and leave him wide open. Number three for a three-point shot. Josh Sloan, no good. Cure comes off with the rebound for the Pirates. And here's Saldine. They're going to be called the block on Johnson Central. No shots. It'll be Belfry's ball on the baseline. 39 seconds I was left here in this third quarter, 45-21. That foul goes against Ryan Sartz and Sloan for... Johnson Central, that's their fifth team foul. Out of the corner, a three-point shot up and good. That's number 10, Caleb Spears. Spears now with seven points here, all in this third quarter for Belfry. And driving down the lane, up and under the big man, putting it up and in is Brian Bryson Hackney. Ball knocked out of bounds, here to stay with the Pirates. 12 seconds left here, third quarter, 47-24. Johnson Central's already got all their starters on the bench. And Saldine tried to go inside, but Bo Keir thought he was going to shoot it. He was actually going to pass to it. Comes back to Dean. His shot's no good at the buzzard. So at the end of three, it's 47-24. Johnson Central with the lead. We'll be back for fourth quarter action this year in the Mountain Sports Network.
Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. Welcome back to Belfry. Back for fourth quarter action, 47-24. Johnson Central with the big lead over the Pirates. And the Golden Eagles will have it to start the fourth quarter. Looks like Coach Tommy McKenzie with his starting five back into the lineup to start this fourth quarter. They played the first three or four minutes in the third quarter, and then he put them on the bench. Here is a shot no good. That was Grant Rice. And on the other end, on the break, putting it up and in, is Saldine for the Pirates. May, three out of the corner on the other end, rattles out. But the rebound comes out to McKenzie. And they'll work it inside John King. And King's going to be charged called for the charge. And that's going to be his fourth foul, 16 fouls. So Belfry will have another chance to cut into the lead. 21 point lead, 47-26. Belfry working in the front court with it. And they'll go in to cure, and he puts it up and in. Just threw, holds his hands up, and they throw it over top of him. Johnson Central doesn't have anybody to get up that high to knock it down. And on the other end, shot no good by May, but Van Hoos comes off with the rebound. McKenzie with the three, no good. Savage for Belfry comes out with the rebound in the front court. They'll go inside to cure, and Van Hoos put a little body on him and he couldn't hang on to it. Big man's just a junior. He'll have to get into the weight room this summer and, and uh, get a little muscle onto his body and he could be a force next year. He's a force now, but you see the teams put a little, get a little physical with him. It, uh, he can tell it bothers him. Johnson Center just working the weave out front now. Here's Van who's with it. Clock down to 6.15 left here in the ball game. Johnson Central with the 47-28 lead. And they're in no hurry, just passing around looking for an open shot. Van Hoos, he had a three, passed it up. Now he had to take it from the same spot as he gets a pass back. No good. Cure comes off the rebound. Saldine stops, fires the three, hits up and good. And Belfry's got a little run going right now as... They have outscored Johnson Central 7-0 here in the fourth quarter. We've got a timeout, 47-31. We'll be right back. This is Rena Mountain Sports Network. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. We're back at Belfry. It's 5.53 left, 47.31 as Belfry's come out on a 7-0 run to start this fourth quarter. Johnson Central had to take a timeout. They've got their starters in, but they probably was on the bench the last three or four minutes of that third quarter and they've cooled off a little bit. Rice with it now. That's McKenzie. John King out top of the circle with it. Johnson Center just working the weave out front. Spreading the floor as only John King down inside the three-point arc right now. And he steps in the corner so they don't have anybody there. McKenzie working. He's got 11 points in the game tonight. Also, Grant Rice, the two guards for Johnson Central with 11 points each. John King now brings the big man out front, and he just takes it around him down the lane. He goes, and he is a block called to see if they count the bucket. He is going to count the bucket. And that foul is going to go against Matt and me. That's his fourth for Belfry. John King will be at the line 
his first bucket of the night, and he misses the free throw. Quickly on the other end's Belfry. And partial blocked in the middle of the shot, but still on the floor, and King digs it out. And Tommy McKenzie calls a timeout. And let's see, it's going to be a 30-second timeout. 4.42 left here in the game, 49-31. Johnson Central with the lead. They'll have the basketball when they get out of the timeout as Belfry's outscored them 7 to two here so far in this fourth quarter. John King, as we talked, made the last bucket, missed his free throw on the and one attempt. He came into tonight's game averaging 11.4 points a game, and that was his first score. Of course, neither team has really scored up to what they came into the game averaging. Johnson Central was averaging 73.3 points a game, and Belfry 65.1. And it's 49-31 with 4.42 left in the game. So neither team really being very efficient offensively. Of course, Johnson Central's had the big lead most of the game, and they've been very patient in the front court, not looking for a shot. Van Hoos with it out front as the big man Cure comes out front. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get him out as King has it now and let uh, somebody take him one-on-one. -on -one and... Here's King, dribbles around him, kicks it over into the corner. Here's a pass tilt, but Van Hoos comes up with it. And he loses it as nice defense that time by Savage. And on the other end, foul called as Chaffins takes it to the bucket, and he'll go to the line for two. That foul is going to go against Ryan McKenzie for Johnson Central, and that's his first foul. Seven team fouls. Of course, this will be two shots for Chaffins. Chaffins with five points as he misses the first free throw. Came in tonight, their second leading scorer at 12.4. He's got five now. He'll have one more free throw. 4.04 left in the ball game. And Chaffins knocks down the second free throw. That'll give them a chance to get into their full court pressure. It's a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court pressure. Johnson Central works it into front court. There's King back to May. And now they'll look. Here's Van who spin move right at the bucket down the lane. Took Saldine down and just shoots it over him for his 10th point of the night. 51-32. We'll have a Intermountain Sports Network player of the game at the end of the game as Dean misses it. Number 10, Rice comes off with it for Johnson Central. Johnson Central now with three men in double figures. And Rice has it taken away from him. That's Chaffins. And he's going to go to the other end, put it up and in. Belfry has come alive here in this fourth quarter, but it might be a little too little too late. 51-34, they're still trail by 17. McKenzie has it knocked loose. Clark on the other end, 101, puts it up, no good. And a foul's going to be called on McKenzie. That's going to be his second. 18 fouls, of course, Clark will go to the line for two shots. Clark has not scored in the game tonight. He started the game. Tightening up the laces at the free throw line. 255, all we have left in this one. Johnson Central with the 17 point lead. And make it 16 now as Clark makes the first free throw. He'll have one more. Looks like number one, Ryan Sarton Sloan, coming in for Johnson Central. And Clark's second free throw up and also good. 12 points here in the fourth quarter for Belfry as their offense has come alive. They've had 24 through the first three quarters. Johnson Central just taking time off the clock, looking for an open drive to the bucket, and there it is, put up and in, number 10, Grant Rice. 
Rice now with 13 points. Quickly on the other end. Saldine, he puts it in, but it won't count. He's called for the charge, and Coach Mark Thompson gets teed up. So Johnson Central will go to the line. Isaiah May will step there. He'll shoot two free throws, and then Johnson Central will have the basketball. That's Saldine's second foul, 17 fouls. Isaiah May with eight points in the game tonight. He came in averaging 16.7 and comes up short on the free throw. He made his first two three-pointers, and since then he's been off the mark only with a one two-point bucket. So coming up short on most of his shots as second free throw up and good. So Johnson Central will have it at midcourt. They lead 54-36. 18-point lead for the Golden Eagles. We've only got 226 left here in the game. Belfry picked up man-to-man -man full court pressure. May takes it down the lane off the glass. No good. He's looking for the foul and not going to get it. Belfry comes up with the rebound. That's Salvage into the front court. Saldine open three. No good. And Van Hoos tips it over to his teammate May, and then May's fouled in the backcourt. And that's going to go against Saldine, his third. Isaiah May will step back to the line. That's 18 fouls, so it will be the one and one. Both teams with eight team fouls. 159, all that's left in this one. Looks like Johnson Central, unless we have a drastic change here in the last minute 59, they're going to go to nine and one for the season. And Belfry will fall to four and six. And out of the top five for the Intermountain Sports Network top five as May's free throw, no good. That was the front end of a one and one. And then we have a foul on the other end. And I think he's going to say number four May with that foul as he's going to leave the game as Toby Spriggs was at the scorer's table already ready to come in and replace May. So I guess May figured he'd get his last hurrah in before he went to the bench tonight. Clark's free throw is up and good. He's got three points tonight, all three coming from the foul line here in the fourth quarter. He'll have one more. And the second one is up and also good. Got a nice looking stroke from the foul line. Josh Sloan in now for Johnson Central. He double team steps through it in the backcourt. Gives it over to Sarton Sloan. And Johnson Central just work. Here's the drive. Going to kick it back out. Just taking time off the clock. They've got the big 16-point lead. They don't really need to score anymore. And here to drive down the lane and to try to get it over to number 24, Spriggs. He fumbles it but was able to recover. Now here's Hackney with it. They just put it back out close to the timeline. We're down to 107 left here in the ball game. Johnson Central with the lead 54-38. Here's an ear steal, and it's over the back. Johnson Central thought it was tilt, but... The official says no. Now they're going to talk about it. And it's going to stay with Belfry. Coach McKenzie didn't agree with it, but he's got the big 16-point lead with 103 left, and he said, it's all right, guys, let's go ahead and play. And here's Saldine, free throw line jumper, no good. Johnson Central comes off the rebound as Hackney pulls it down. And then he's going to be fouled in the backcourt. Clark with the foul. 
And that's going to be nine team fouls. So here to be the last one and one for Johnson Central as Bryson Hackney will step to the line. Hackney has two points so far. Those coming in the third quarter. 51.9 is all that's left. Hackney will have the one and one. And he rolls it in off the front of the rim. So he'll get the second shot. 55-38, his team leads. Second one up too long. Yeah, he hits off the heel of the rim, and Savage comes off the rebound. Belfry in the front court. That's Chasen's with it. Looking for help. He'll take it. Ball faked and then puts the three down. Tyler Chaffins, six points here in this fourth quarter, 11 for the game, and Belfry will use a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, 55-41, 34 34.3 seconds left. So we'll stay right here with it, and we're going to name the Intermountain Sports Network player of the game, and we're going to go with Ryan McKenzie. He had 11 points through the first three quarters, not played here much in the fourth quarter, but his teammate Grant Rice also with 11, but Ryan had several steals, fast break buckets, run the offense great for the Golden Eagles here tonight. So Ryan McKenzie will be the IMSN player of the game with 11 points. Johnson Central will have the basketball in the backcourt out of the timeout. Belfry's picking up, looks like man-to-man -man full court pressure this time. As they'll get it in to Cayman Sloan, and there's Hackney down the inside, puts it up and in. Bryson Hackney now with five points. 15 seconds, all that's left as Salvage comes in uh, to the Middle throw the elbow got away with it, but I guess it's no harm, no foul right now. And only five seconds to go as Clark trying to take it away from the man, and time runs out. 57 41 is the final, so we'll send it to the station and be back shortly with some final stats and comments. It's Renner Mountain Sports Network. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Welcome back to Belfry. We've got a final in tonight's game between Belfry and Johnson Central as the Golden Eagles comes into Belfry and, and we'll leave with a 57-44 win. Excuse me, 57-41 win over... Belfry and Johnson Central's record that we improved to nine and one on the season and Belfry will fall to four and six. So we'll go over the scoring for Belfry. We've got Sal Dean had 10 points. We've got 11 points for Tyler Chapins and six of those coming in the fourth quarter to uh, four points for Bo Cure, two points for Ben McNamee, two points for Salvage. Let's see, we've got four points for DeMar J. Clark. All those coming on free throws in the fourth quarter. And also four, court, four points for Caleb Spears. And also four for Stephen Banks for a total of 41 points. Belfry was eight of 14 from the foul line and hit two three pointers. Those coming in the fourth quarter, one by Tyler Chapins and also. Uh, won by S Sal Dean. 
And now for Johnson Central, Corey Van Hoos end up with 10 points. He was their leading scorer coming in, averaging 17.2 points a game, but they didn't really need him that much tonight as Isaiah May, also 16.7 points a game, comes away with only nine points. He was only one of three from the foul line. Had four points for John King. He also was a double-figure scorer coming in with 11.4 and ends up with four points. 13 points for Ryan, uh, Grant Rice. 11 points for Ryan McKenzie. Six points for Cayman Sloan. Five points for Bryson Hackney. All those coming in the fourth quarters for a total of 57 points. Johnson Central not very good from the foul line tonight. They were only three of nine. They had six three-pointers in the game. So, like I said, their record now will improve to nine and one. Belfry will fall to four and six. And again, our Intermountain Sports Network player of the game, Ryan McKenzie from Johnson Central with 11 points. So that's going to wrap it up here from Belfry tonight. For my partner, Wayne, if you get on camera, this is Larry Cecil saying so long and good night. And again, your final score, 57-41, Johnson Central over the Belfry Pirates. This has been High School Basketball on the Intermountain Sports Network. Tonight's game is brought to you by Intermountain Cable, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Coalfields Telephone, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Big Sandy Reac. It is also brought to you by Howard Family Pharmacy, Mineshaft Harley Davidson, Gearhart Security, Appalachian Wireless, and Parkview Pharmacy. Live high school basketball coverage on the Intermountain Sports Network is a production of WPRG-TV.